All right, so the next thing I want to go over is mitering. Um, occasionally, you'll want to show mitered members, maybe for handrail, uh, maybe for a welded frame. There's just maybe times where you're you're going to want to show mitering between two members. And uh, you can miter just about any structural shape, but I'm going to show you uh, channels, which are commonly mitered. Angles are also commonly mitered. Let's just go ahead and throw some C8s in here. I'm going to tow them all outward. So I'm going to flip each one of them. I think I had them right the first time. There we go. I'm going to flip them all outward. Once I've got a, once I've got a, a frame built here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose miter. Okay, and with mitering, it's pretty simple actually. You just select a couple objects, or select all the objects involved in the miter. So if I want to do these two, it'll miter the corners. However, if I decide I want to do these two, it removes the original miter. So miter is not like a fillet command, which, you, which it kind of seems like it would be. In order to miter effectively like a frame like this, you want to pick all of the members that are involved in the miter, and you'll see that all four uh, corners are mitered together. The moment you go and miter just two, it removes the miter from the other end. So we pick all four. Um, mitering, as far as I know, has been known to um, remove copes. So let's set that situation up. Let's miter these two to remove the miter over here. Let's miter these two to remove the miter on this side. So here's what I want to do. I want to set up a situation where I'm doing where I have this channel come over. I want to flip the flange. This is just for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to cope. And we're going to see if in this instance we can make this thing break by doing a bolted cope and then and then forcing a miter on these two. Well, let's miter these two and then miter these two. So, in some cases your cope will stay. I have had instances where my cope breaks um, because of the miter. So just keep that in mind um, when you're doing things. I think it, my, my cope is typically broken when I've done it on, uh, on stairs um, is when it's typically tended to happen. So um, that is mitering. Another thing is that, and let's go ahead and erase these, is that let's say we do uh, another channel frame. And let's say we do, actually, let's, let's explore. Well, yeah, we'll do the same thing. We'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll do the channel frame. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and this one, and we're going to change the center line location to the center. Now we're going to attempt to miter. And it says selected members could not be mitered. The reason for this, and this is this is pretty easy to see why here, but in other instances it may not be so easy to notice. The reason for this is because your center lines have to be matched up. In order for these to be mitered, the center lines need to be matched up. So I'm going to click these two and change their center lines as well. And now I'll go do my miter function. And it says four members were mitered. Those center lines need to match. Another thing that needs to happen, <clears throat> this is more apparent on angles. I'll see if I can get it to happen with channels here. Um, is it's not just this, it's also your, your angle. So let's say I have it like this and I'll, I'll take off the flip flange and we'll see if we can miter these two. And it, this one worked, this one worked. Um, so the one thing about with, with angles that <clears throat> won't get them to fully work right is let's say I have an angle here and I got an angle here okay well, I'm gonna set these both to um, to bottom I want them at the backs the the work lines okay they match but let's say that this one is set to 90 and this one's set to uh, 270 with a flip flange so it looks really similar okay and they're matched up okay when I go to a miter they're not gonna miter all the way they don't miter um, like they would if they were both set at 90. This is actually 180. And actually 180 will still work the same way. If we miter this, you're going to see that little piece at the end there. Not a huge deal, not a deal breaker, but let's change this to 90. And um, 
we can actually get these to both flip out. So you say flip flange. Oops, not that way. Let's say we want them horizontal. We'll change them to 180. 180. This way they're both facing outward. Um, and then I'll move this out to here. And now when we do it this way, because they match exactly, we get a full miter. Because they're both set to 180 degrees um, orientation. As long as the, the parameters match up, you're going to get a full miter to that little notch. But it's, it can still work the other way. But if you see that little notch, that's why. It's because your beams aren't, aren't uh, your, your angles aren't, like, got, they don't have, like, the right properties aren't matched up. Sorry, give me the stutter here. The properties don't match up, and that's why um, you'll get that little notch right there. So um, anything just about can be mitered. Um, we can put in some wide flanges. Uh, let's not do that angle, please. Um, in fact, I'll just use this again. Uh, let's put some angles in here. Or, I'm sorry, wide flanges, zero. If you look, we can miter these. Again, mitered. Um, let's put in some pipes. We can miter pipes good for handrails um, flat bar angle T's I mean all any shape can be mitered so uh, it's you know use it when you need it